guys, before we start the video, rest in peace to this charger because what happens is its head fell off while it was charging this phone here, and yeah. So yeah, this will be in the broken section, and I'm gonna get the other palm charger, so yeah. So, let's go back to the video. Hey guys, this is our boy at the Fall Vlogs, and today we're doing the 14 phone update. This time we have newer phones, which yeah, nine new phones and five phones that had recently died in FRB bypass. So yeah, let's go with this one. First this is a Palm Trio. I mean, Palm, yeah, Palm Trio 680 on singular works. And the reason that I couldn't right now I'm not I'm not gonna test this thing right now because this is my my palm my palm charger broke for this yeah it broke unfortunately so what you guys see in the beginning so yeah and I I, I can hardly test because I when, before it was broken it was the red light indicator was like red and the screen turned on I swear it did work it was from the battery that was from the palm palm trio 700 p on Verizon which was the broken one. I mean, yeah, I couldn't have fully tested since I need to get a new charger for this for that one. So yeah, I right, see so that works. So, yeah. Next, here's a Agatel OT 871A on AT and T works. My phone's in five percent for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, you can see. And when you hold this button, where it has a flash indicator, when you hold it, see. It has this nice little functioning flashlight. So yeah, we hold it again. Turns out this thing works. And this one, an AT&T basic phone that can work without requiring without requiring an AT&T SIM card, which is pretty cool, guys. Because yeah, otherwise I would have gone a lot of AT&T SIM cards because I'm saving two SIM cards: a singular SIM card and an AT&T SIM card. Which came from this weird thing from ATT, so yes. I put it up there because it looks cool, so yeah. Next, here's a Sanyo Enuendo on Sprint. Works and it's so hard to find this phone. These types of devices like this, the Enuendos, they're hard to find, so yeah. For for both carriers, Sprint and Boost Mobile, so yeah. This is the one I can I, that it can work, so yeah. And it does work. See, says now you can see from the external you might see because the uh, unfortunate knobs, yes. And when you do it here, see you can see the you can turn off the phone either from this one or the top part one, so yes. Cook like this, it has the birdie, the bouncy balls, the birdie, even the birdie, yeah, it looks nice. It's the same thing, that's why I told you. And it has the butterflies, so yeah. It does work though, so yeah. Indeed. <laughs> and indeed it does work, so yeah. Otherwise if it doesn't work, it would have been a broken phone and I would have been so sad that, that it would have been, it was the rarest phone, so yeah. But as I had this, the working one, so yeah, good thing. Here have coming the smartphones. First, this is a, LG, not first, I mean, this is the, I mean, the first um, smartphone to review. This is the LG Motion on Metro PCS. This one works. Yeah, see the LG logo? And it's going to be the Metro PCS logo, just like my, yeah, here you go. It's just like my, the animation is just like my um, LG Optimus L70, which is on the same carrier. See? Works. It's a small LG phone, which I never had, so yeah. You can see the Metro PCS 4G logo. Oops, it has a whopping 5 megapixel camera, which you can, as, as I can see. Just, oh my goodness. 
does work. Running Android ice cream sandwich. So yeah. Next, here's the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. On, also a Metro PC. Yes, it does work. Don't know what was that thingy on the top, which I couldn't never clean. There you go. You can barely hear the startup sound. Yeah. Works. It kind of looks like the back cover for the um, Galaxy On 5, which is the next phone. Next is my other, is my Galaxy On 5 on T-Mobile. This thing works. I already have one at least, but... It says that I couldn't uh, do the start because it says custom binary blocked by FRP lock. So yeah, but this one does not have no custom binaries and it's and yeah, this thing works. When I had this one, it didn't have no password or nothing. It was just running slow when I'm trying to delete in Google account. So yeah, but now for this one, it's absolutely FRP locked and yeah, and I having trouble bypassing this for today. Well, maybe next day, I might FRB bypass it. Because why not? <laughs> this thing works. Yeah, you can tell. You can see the T-Mobile logo. Yeah, see, it's on a sub screen, which yeah, which for me is meaning that it was an FRB locked because I try to access and everything, like to go to the setup, like part of the setup, Wi-Fi after it says checking info and it says the device was reset and told me to go uh, enter the account from the previous one which I cannot because I don't know the previous account so yeah actually does work so yeah almost the same layout but except a little smaller this is a little bigger so yes here's a UMX is a UMX my first ever UMX smartphone there the UMX U685CL this thing is on um, this thing is on Assurance Wireless works. So I think it might be dead. I'm not sure. Or it's just acting dead. Yeah, probably dead. So yeah, probably has a bad battery. So I don't know it does work. Next, here's a um, U um uh, another UMX, but this is the UMX U504 TL on track phone works and has an auto battery and everything. I bought these two UMXs. I had this thing first and they both work and both did not have no passwords but they both had Google accounts. But I managed to delete them before I hard reset it and yeah. So I don't do no FRB bypass. So when I delete those those on, on both of them when I delete the the Google accounts it now works. So yeah. And now it only goes to the setup straight up when without using the Wi Fi does work indeedly so yeah you can see it's on track man does work see next here's this AT&T Radiant Core on AT&T works some sort of phone I never seen it before so yes it's powered by Android Go edition so yeah someone's spy on me so nothing guys it does work guys ignore that uh, background noise so yes. as you can see guys see I don't know why people is playing music in the end of this thing so yeah sorry about this music guys so yeah I might cut it out but yeah Nice one though. Let's turn it off. Nice little phone though, so yes. So let me charge this thing, so yeah, hold on. Okay, unfortunately I, I, I fixed it. It wasn't dead actually. It was just frozen for a bit. Because this one, I had to reinsert the battery and insert it again, so yeah. The, the UMX U685CL. 
It is on the first wires, guys. This thing works. Which I'm showing you guys right now because I was putting this um, thingy here. That's where I charge my devices. And surprisingly, it does work. You guys can see, yeah? Ultimate mobile experience. That's how, that's, what's, that's what you and Max stands for. But, for you guys, I don't main, I, and I never own these phones, guys. Just, if you guys didn't own these phones and you been and you guys had all these phones before, well, you might hate it because those phones, they do lag, they run slow, and, yeah, they run slow and they lag. And they sometimes make cheaply, like, like really cheaply sometimes they make that like, it could break. Yeah. Obviously, that works. So yeah. Let's okay. Let's go back to the to the to the to the upgrade. Okay. Next, here's a um LG K10 on AT and T works. This thing I managed to FRB bypass, and yeah, has an AT and T logo in the back, which you can tell is AT and T. So yeah, does work indeed, Lisa. Sorry about that. Let's do it again. Because I'm sort of noise thing I just had. I just man, I couldn't understand this thing. So yes. I guess it does work. My muscles are are uh, kind of feel sore. So yeah, unfortunately, guys, that's why I couldn't handle that much. So I'm interrupting you guys. Yeah, it does work at least. Yeah. Yes. That's a nice little camera in the back. Looks like my it, lo it almost looks like my LG K7, but it's not. This thing looks like a rectangular and different design. Even the back, even the speaker hole looks square. And it did, yeah, works. Oh, it's the same thing as my LG Aristo. So yeah. And indeed, I have airplane mode on because I do not want anything else to happen. And also, the safe battery. So yeah. See that loading screen, guys? You can see. Yeah, it has a spot there, but it's just how it is. There you go. Next, here's my Samsung Galaxy J2 or the J2 Core, whatever it is. If it's on Metro by T Mobile. Yeah, it is on Metro by T Mobile, guys. This thing works. Yeah, it's a secured by Knox. Yeah, obviously. And it does work. <laughs> yeah. It has a nice little camera though, which I didn't notice. It was almost it almost looks like the Samsung Galaxy um the S it looks like the S9 camera, but it's actually a low it's actually it's not because it does not have the the thing in the bottom and it doesn't it has only the single camera and flash and the speaker it's only this side but not the sensor or flash not quite the same thing but it's just a day, j2 it's a different design also yes this thing does work and for repairing this one it's weird because there's no screwdrivers on this thing and yeah so hmm. i mean i don't need to repair this thing because i don't need to because it's it's working fine so yes ours does work so yes Next, here's my LG Leon on Metro PCS works, but unfortunately, it the speaker doesn't work. So yeah, it has a, I think it has a bad speaker. So yeah, and it, so that's why the audio does not play everywhere else out of it. So yeah, otherwise it does work. So yeah, if I find a replacement speaker for it, maybe I'm not sure. But if it does work, then evidently it will be a, a working phone. So yes. It looks like this is the same thing as the LG Tribute 2 on Boost Mobile. With the same design, but uh, different um, different style of a back cover. Same back cover, but a different different skin of a back cover this thing is just sleek back cover now it's just how you can scratch it with making noises which i forgot what's its name of 
and the same on everything except in blue. This thing is in gray. Flashlight seems to work for this. It does work, it just takes a lot longer to load. I'm gonna talk about this thing in the last because, which, yeah, I don't know why. Here, this is the, well, this thing is charging, so yeah. I mean, I can do it, I can do it while it's charging, so yeah. Yeah, this thing, thing yeah, I have, I cannot remove this thing yet. I mean, wait, oh yeah, I could. Anyways, this is a LG, oh, this is turning on. This is a LG Aristo 3 on Metro PC, uh, Metro by T-Mobile works. Not Metro PCS, Metro PCS is this one. Okay, well, this thing is starting up, so let's, let's do it quick. I see, oh, I see. This thing takes a little longer because, yeah. Call comes to Snapdragon. Just let me turn it on. Same animation, just like the J2, uh, at least. No startup or shutdown sounds of the of this f phone. Because I don't know why. Oh, that's on. Ready? Four hours and 21 minutes to full. <laughs> Almost like Aristo, but except it does not have the slider that goes up and makes a noise. It's just the unlocking sound that makes a noise, so yeah. Hold on, I couldn't find it because, yeah. I mean, hold on, let me check. Okay, can I make this thing to make the um, swipe the swipe noises like the part of the swipe noises is like the LG Aristo and the K10, so yeah. I mean, it's still good though, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the back cover feels sharp. Oh, yeah, it's because it's, yeah. Actually, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Besides this lines from the screen, so yeah. Next, yeah, it's charging, so yeah. And last but not least, here's this uh, Sky Devices Elite B5 on Unlocked, obviously. This thing works. And I managed to do an FRV bypass. It's the same way as doing an at t Iridium core, so yeah. Follow the instructions a bit, and now it just works. It does work in everything, and now, yeah. It reads every SIM card and everything, so yeah. It does go with any SIM card, so yeah. Any SIM card and anything else. Whoa, works. It's a nice one though, but obviously I just, I think I used the Sky Devices phone before, but not like this almost, I think. Is the one that kind of looks like the iPhone 5 camera like this, but a little hollow out, I'm not sure. In a different color, but yeah, this thing was working. This thing is a good phone, but yeah, obviously, yeah, that's what it's going with the broken phone. Yeah, here's a broken phone here, which I, I forgot to include, but whatever. Here's a um, Samsung, um, here's a Samsung SGH T139 on T Mobile. I mean, I, I'm, this is not the other one is broken. This thing works, but both screens were blank. And yeah, this thing was has a white screen, but it was blank and everything. It doesn't show up anything else, just just besides the sound. Alright, so that's work. So yeah, I want to replace the screen. And I will try to replace the LCD. Just the LCD, guys. That's it. The both LCDs. Because yeah, if I can find one that's in beat up condition, that's they're, they're both working, I can just replace it. That one, cause it looks in an average shape. Then my, then 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 yeah. Here's my. I'll have the other one. So yeah, hold on. Okay, last one. Here's a Motorola i730 on Nextel. Works, but unfortunately, this thing had a, the letters for a bit. It shows everything, but after it went faint. Like it went all white. External screen was working fine. I don't know why how it happened to the internal screen. I just don't know how. I mean, it looks in better condition. So yeah, this I might replace the front screen as well, but I don't think I could because it goes with the external screen with it. So I want I might have to replace the just both of them on the front screen that goes with the along with the external screen to make this work. Alright, so that's quick and everything else, so yeah. Oh, that sucks that it doesn't work the external stream because this phone was in good condition, I don't know how.
April. And plus it's rare, so yeah. That's everything, guys. This is going to be a 16th one update for now on. I'm going to rename it now. I got 14, so 16, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure, if you did, you can leave a, you can, you can like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, that's all for now. And peace. Oh my goodness, my veins. Ooh.